What is up guys, Jack Frostman here, and I'm back with another update video, and this is going to be one of the last ones in a while, considering this is everything that will be in 0.6.0. This is pretty much confirmed, everything's down to the wire now, and we're waiting for the update to come out any day now. So the next update has been submitted, it was submitted a couple days ago, and um, we should see the update come out in in a short while. It won't take too long. But anyway, there's a ton of new features like signs, which have been confirmed, armor confirmed, baby animals. Unfortunately, no breeding, but there will be baby animals. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but um, we'll see. Um, we have fancy clouds, um, which will be in the sky, and of course, they'll be on good devices and bad devices. Um, Performance-wise, will have a um, kind of... Just a blue sky, no clouds though. They have an improved D pad for all devices, stone cutter, which is a new block, um, and it's for crafting stone stone blocks, which as you can see makes different ores like quartz ore, which uh they've posted a picture of, but I'm not really sure um what else this block can do, so it's kind of a mystery. Sheep can be colored with dyes now, which is gonna be very cool. And then we have nether rack, nether brick, block of quartz with two variants, which is Pillar and Chiseled. We have Mossy and Cracked Smooth Stone Brick variants, Creative only, Chiseled and Smooth Stone variants as well. So this is a ton of new blocks, which is really cool. We have new stairs, which are Nether Brick, Sandstone, Smooth Stone, Brick, and Quartz, which are also very, very good. We have some new Sandstone Slabs, and we have a new item, Nether Brick, smelted from Nether Rack and crafted into Nether Brick Tile. So, ap apparently we may have more additions to the nether reactor, or maybe just a, a new, a separate way to get these. We're not really quite sure yet. Upside down stairs and corner stairs are added in this update. They're not really a new block, but they're, but they're a really cool way to place the block now, which is going to be very, very cool. Slabs can be placed in up position. Um, we need testing on small screens, but... What they mean by that is they can be on the top half of blocks, but placement's going to be hard on smaller screens. Sand and gravel are affected by gravity, which means they will fall just like in the PC edition. Some more tweaks that they are doing. Recipes for crafting slabs give six slabs instead of three, just as like in the PC version. Nether reactor spawns netherrack blocks instead of obsidian, so that's actually really, really going to help. People that have a ton of obsidian in their world... Um, are going to not have all that obsidian anymore, which is good and bad. If you want the obsidian, you can go ahead and spawn one now, and then just get netherrack after. So that's actually really, really good um, for the time it takes to break it down. The fog and sky color have changed, like I said before. The nether reactor now spawns more items, so it'll probably spawn different quartz and other stuff. I'm not too sure yet. And cows drop leather. So that's going to be very important. Cows drop leather. It's one of the first really important animal drops that's going to be used to make armor, um, pretty much certainly. And melons had several brug bugs. They would spawn too fast, and that uh, they fixed that. Um, so that's really cool. And this will require Android 2.3 or later, so you better get up to that 2.3 if you don't already have it. And so that's pretty much the update notes. Um... So, again, we have some pictures of the Armor GUI. We have a ton of new stuff. Talking about multiplayer for the update um, after. Just a ton of new um, stuff. So, I'm really excited for this update. It turns out to be a lot better than um, than I thought it would be. So, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Muchachos.